Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I've come to the beautiful Oxfordshire village of Goring on Thames. Village centre's just up there. There's a railway station called Goring Streetly. What we're going to do, we're going to go and have a look at the Thames and we're going to go across to Berkshire and see the village of Streetly and then we're going to go up for a walk up into the hills. So it's really quite a pleasant place. It's quite well known. Um, a few famous people have lived here, such as Pete Townsend from The Who and the actor Anton Rogers and fairly recently it was in the news, well a few years ago, because George Michael lived here and when he died a lot of his fans came to this church so it's um, quite a well known place, it's um, a very attractive place so we're just going to walk now through the churchyard, this is the church of um, St Thomas of Canterbury and um, there was once an Augustian nunnery or um, priory here which I'm, I'm not entirely sure it was, it was somewhere over here but there isn't as far as I'm aware there's nothing left of it to see but let's just walk through a very nice churchyard we're going to head for the hills see up there on the other side of the Thames that's my um, my sort of destination in this video but first let's see if we can have a look in the church because um I believe it's meant to be quite an interesting church once we get inside. That's looking promising, the door looks like it's open. Church building is now open. Great. So, here we go. Here we are, inside the church. So if we look down to the nave, it's this roof screen which um, I'm quite interested in. It was carved from one of um, Nelson's battleships, I believe. It, so to think this piece of wood that's now a roof screen has sailed all around the world is um, quite amazing to think now it's here in this church in Goring on Thames. Up through here into the chancel. Have a look down the nave. What we're going to do now, we're going to leave the church. And we're going to see how long it takes to walk to the neighbouring village of Streetly, which is literally just on the other side of the Thames. And my plan is to go to the church in Streetly. Whether it be open and we'll be able to go in, I'm not entirely sure. So this is the church. When George Michael passed away on Christmas Day 2016, this is where all his grieving fans came. And I've been told that the visitor book, almost kind of a book of remembrance to George Michael. So I'll leave the church behind us now. Um, so yeah, it's always nice when a church is open, always enjoy looking in a church and making a video in church. It's always bright out here. So we're going to go down here. I think George Michael possibly lived in one of these houses. I'm not entirely sure which one. It might be fairly obvious, but I saw pictures all along here. There were just pictures that um, you know, of George Michael when all of his fans came here. Um, I'm not 100% sure in saying it. I have a feeling George Michael may have lived there, but um, I'm not saying that as 100%. I'm, I think that's where he lived. So, we're now going to, if you see here, this, we're actually on the Thames Path now. We're going to follow the Thames Path over the bridge. It's quite interesting because it's a wooden bridge. It was built in 1923 so yeah look here we go here's the Thames path three and a half miles to Whitchurch which is near Pangbourne railway station is that way I do like the architecture in this village there's a lot of arts and crafts like buildings as you can see the post office it might be quite windy on the bridge so I probably won't talk too much but I will let you see the views of the Thames as we cross the bridge so I'm just going to let the camera roll now. There's a boat stable there. So there's actually an island down there. We could have 
I won't do it today, but we could have gone down there onto the island. And it looks like, oh, the sun's coming out, which is good. Here's the lock, Goring on Thames Lock. So that house is, the lock keeper's cottage is pretty much surrounded by water. That's looking downstream down the Thames path. There's the church where we've just been. We're going to walk up those hills. That's, that's where I'm planning to take you to. It actually looks like then there's, there's another big island right here in the middle of the Thames. Look at that lovely weir. I know I keep saying it, but one day it is my intention just to walk the whole of the Thames path. It's something I'd love to do, make a video series as I go. I don't know when that will happen, but it's really something I'd really, really like to do. Right, let's just walk on to the next bridge. So this bit's a little bit uneventful here. We are now, now we are on an island in the middle of the Thames. wonder what's uh, in there. It looks like it's private. Oh, it's a pub, I think. I think there's possibly a pub in there. Um, here comes the, the next bridge, the smaller bridge. So this island, if anyone wants to come and tell me, is this island in Oxfordshire or Berkshire? Because Goring's in Oxfordshire and Streetly is in Berkshire. Now while there's no cars coming, there's no path on that side, I was going to show you the weir on this side. Go back over here. This is a really, really nice place. I can just see the church in Streetly, so that's where I'm heading for now before we go do some hill climbing up to the hills above. And the idea is I want to show you the views looking down on Goring and Streetly. It's looking upstream towards Oxford. So now we're in Berkshire. Yes, yeah, so if you do know, if anyone knows which county the island is in, Interestingly here it says welcome to Goring, which to me would say then the island must be in Oxfordshire, but I'm not entirely sure. And then here it says welcome to West Berkshire and Streetly. So Goring's the bigger village. Goring's got about 3,000 people. Streetly's got about 1,000 people. There is a youth hostel in Streetly, so if you're ever walking the Thames Path, you could come and stay the night at a youth hostel in Streetly. I'm not doing that on this visit. Um, we have done videos at youth hostels. I did one at Hartington Hall once. Now here is the church in Streetly. Church of St. Mary. There we go. There we go. The church is open. That's good. Don't know as much about this one as I know knew about um, Goring, but I'm just going to show you the interior. Walk up the, the nave and have a look. I think it's something so calming and peaceful about being in a church. There we are, it's looking up the, the chancel. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stop this bit of the video. I'm going to go and um, climb up the hills. We're going to go up and visit some National Trust lands. We're going to go and see the views over Goring and Streetly. I'm now about three quarters of a mile away from the village of Streetly. I've come to this beautiful piece of National Trust owned land. It's called the Hollies. Now there is a path that goes up and skirts the woodland. And that would go to where we're going, but I want to go somewhere else first. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to leave the National Trust land and head up a bridleway. So we're just going to go out through this kissing gate. Down there, that's the main road out of... Streetly, so I was going to walk along there, but then I saw a footpath and it took me along in the woods. It came out of a stile there and across this 
field, as you can see, it's a National Trust piece of land. It's called De Hollis, so it's all really very pleasant countryside, but I'm not actually going there just yet. We'll, we'll see more of that when we get to the top of the hill. I'm going to go this way, up this bridle path, and um, something up there I want to show you. So, up we go. Well, I've almost reached the top of this bridleway. Very chalky up here. You can just see, see how white the ground is with chalk. Now, this is the summit of where, where this path goes. It's a private track going up there, so I'm not going up there, but I did want to show this to you. This is Grimstike Ditch. It's something I would like to do in the future. I don't know where, a bit like the Thames Path. It is something I will do one day when I get around to it. And there's a really nice view over the over the valley. The Thames Valley is on that side. So this isn't the Chilton Hills. The Chilton Hills are on the other side. Uh, Goring. So the hills above Goring, that's where the Chilton Hills start. These hills are not the Chilton Hills. So I'm going to continue on down this track and I'm probably going to have to come back up again to show you that view I was talking about at the beginning over Goring Streetly. I've just come up a very steep path from the other side of the valley and we're coming to this plateau on the top of the hill. Now there's something really quite unusual and fascinating up here which I really want to show you um, before we go and see the views over Gore in the street. If we come to this area here, you look across, it may not look like much. The wind's picking up so I'll shout as much as I can. Have a look at this. Here, there's these flints in the ground. You can see it's a maze or a labyrinth. There's three of them. There's this one here that's got the most of the flint. And this one here, it looks like it does have some flint, but it's been a bit more mown into the ground. And there's another one over there. So, have a look at that. That is really quite fascinating. So, it's one of these ones, I know if I'm, I'm walking around it now, you can't necessarily see exactly where I'm going, but it's one a labyrinth that doesn't have, you know, junctions. There's only one way from the start to the finish. So I'm just following that round there. But as I go, so I'll let, let you see into the middle. So I've got to make my way all the way around there. But it won't take me too long. From what I can see, that one's got the same layout. That one hasn't. That one's got a slightly different one. So, so it kind of it took me in. I'm now right on the edge of it. So it's, um, but if anyone knows why they're here, please do comment and tell me because I'm really intrigued to know why they would put these labyrinths here on the top of the hill and um, if there was any purpose and how old they are. Yeah, please do comment and tell me. I'm almost in the middle now, so it gets really, well, it's just like I'm sort of dancing the way I'm stepping forward, stepping backwards. Um, just going around the final section and here we are in the middle. I'm in the middle of the labyrinth. I'm going to walk straight out and don't want to get too dizzy. I'm going to continue over there towards those trees and that's where we're going to finally see the view over Goring and Streetly, Goring Gap and the Thames Valley. Well, after exploring those intriguing flint labyrinths, I'm now heading back down the path towards Goring and Streetly path descends quite steeply down there but before we go down there I have a view to show you I can take you down through here onto the edge of the hill and um, turn round and I'll reveal the view of the Goring Gap so we can see Goring in front of us Streetly is directly below us the hills you see in the background that's the beginning of the Chilton Hill so they start here they run right across to the Dunstable Downs. One that I'd love to walk along the whole top of the Chilton Hills. I know I've said in this video I would like to do the Thames Path, I'd like to walk Grimsdyke Ditch and I'd like to walk Chilton Hills. I really would like to and I hope at some point I'll be able to do that and make a video or make videos as I go. As for this video, I've really enjoyed it. It's been a great walk. We've seen lots of different things um, from, you know, from 
George Michael's house to two churches to National Trust lands. So it's Fint Labyrinths and now this amazing view. I can also just see the railway. Um, I'll wait and take a picture of a train and I'll insert the picture now. So there you are, you saw the train I took just after I finished filming the video. But yeah, just really, really enjoyed this, this um, walk. And if, you know, why not come here yourself? You could get the train to Gordon Streetly and do this walk for yourself. And there's also a youth hostel in Streetly, so you could stay the night here. So really worth coming to. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from the hill above Streetly, overlooking the Goring Gap, goodbye.